With this cotton lint, we're going to be able to make all kinds of great things. We can make things like clothes or sheets, towels, socks, shoes, blankets, pillows, caps, jackets, sweaters, cotton balls, Q-tips, hair thingies, bags, flags, purses, backpacks, all kinds of great stuff. But we need to do something with the cotton first. Watch this. The cotton easily tears apart. Now you wouldn't want your shirt to do that, would you? So we take the cotton lint at the cotton gin and we press it into what's called a bale of cotton. Now the bales of cotton are really big, but they weigh over 400 pounds. That's a lot of cotton lint. So we haul it by the bale from the cotton gin to the cotton mill. And at the mill, they take this cotton that can easily be torn apart and they put it into machines. The machines start to pull and twist the cotton lint. <clears throat> now you can see that that lint is getting smaller, starting to look more like string. And now I can pull and pull on it. I pulled until it left marks on my fingers, but I didn't pull it apart anymore because once those fibers are twisted together, it's really nice and strong. So they'll take that string or yarn as they call it and put it into something that weaves it together to make fabric so that we can have nice and strong clothes and all that other great stuff too. Now I realize I said a lot of things we make with cotton lint pretty fast, but I didn't tell you my favorite. My very favorite thing that we make with cotton lint is money. Money is printed on cotton paper. 75% of this is cotton and that's why it lasts a long time. Even if I forget about this dollar and when I get home, I leave it in my pocket and it gets washed in the washing machine, do you know what we'll have? Clean money. It won't fall apart like regular paper because it's cotton. 